Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play a YouTube Shorts video in a pop-up when a user clicks on an image. So here's what we're going to be pulling off in this tutorial. I wanted to have the ability to have a few different images, and when you click on each one of these, it automatically is going to pop up a YouTube Shorts video in a light box or a pop-up, whatever you want to call it. And this is all unique to each one of these. So if you click right here, it will play a different YouTube Shorts, and then this one's going to be different as well. In order to pull this off, you are going to need Elementor, and you're going to have to have the URLs to the YouTube Shorts that you want to link to, because we need to pull in the unique code to pop up right here. So let me just jump into the back end and show you how everything is set up. Here we are on the back end of an Elementor page, and as you can see, it's a very simple page, which is one section. We got three blank columns right here. So in order to pull this off, this is actually just using the video widget with an image overlay, and then we're playing the video inside of a light box. It's a lot of little different steps to pull this off, but I'm gonna walk you through every single step. So the very first thing is, you're just gonna to wanna to pull in the default video widget from Elementor. And once you pull that in, you're gonna notice it's just the generic YouTube um, placeholder link. So in order to make the YouTube shorts come up, you can't just go to like the URL up here like this and just copy that in. It's not gonna work correctly. So what you need to do is there's a cool little trick and I did create a video on this uh, trick alone. Uh, I'll leave a little card up here and a link in the description below. But basically that video is just showing you that if you go to a shorts video and you right click on it, this is what you need to copy right here. Which So when you right click on your YouTube shorts video, this pop-up will come up and you just wanna make sure you click copy video URL. So when you copy that, it looks different than this URL right here. Because if you notice, this says shorts, and then this is like your unique ID. So what you need to do is, like I said, right click and paste that in there. And when you do that, you're gonna automatically notice the URL looks different. So the only way this works inside Elementor, you have to right click on that. So it's a cool little trick. And so when you do that, you'll notice that it pulls in like, you know, 16 by nine. So it's always looking white screen. Uh, what we need to do next is go underneath style and instead of 16 by 9 we need to flip it so it says 9 by 16. so now you can see the video is going to be displaying correctly just like a youtube shorts now what we need to do is go ahead and add an image overlay um, you can keep all of these by default if you want just make sure you have player controls on and then underneath suggested videos i recommend just keeping this at current video channel that way when you know when the user's done watching the video it will pop up other videos related to your channel so just go underneath uh, image overlay turn that on and when you do that it's going to automatically choose this image right here and in this case what we wanted to do is just display three of these different logos right here and as you can see um, this is just called svg images so it keeps it nice and small uh, what i do recommend if you are going to be doing some sort of grid system as you can see, all of these images have the same dimensions. They all kind of look the same. Um, I do recommend if you're using a grid system, have the same kind of white space all the way around. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So you just go ahead and insert that. And of course, when you do that, everything is going to still be a little bit out of whack. So what we need to do is underneath Lightbox, as soon as you turn that on, you're going to notice it switches over just to that image. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure where it says play icon, you wanna turn that off. You can keep that on if you want in some cases, but in my case, I didn't want a big you know, play icon over the logo, so I just turned that off. And so once you have that, you got a lot of the hard stuff already out of the way. So you can actually test it with inside Elementor. So if you just go ahead and click that, you're gonna notice that the YouTube Shorts video does come up. So if you go back to the example I had, if you notice that when I click it, this shorts video fits inside the pop-up much better than the way Elementor is doing that. And that is because Elementor by default has some CSS that is scaling this to like 100% height and it just doesn't really work that well. So we're gonna need to add a little bit of CSS code to make sure that it shrinks down to this size. And then if you notice right here, if I start to scale down, I'm gonna make sure that when it gets to uh, mobile size, it will shrink down even more. So you can do all of this with just CSS. And now let's go ahead and add the CSS. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to pull the CSS code. Um, so what I'm gonna do inside Elementor Pro is just go underneath the page settings and add the following CSS. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you're not gonna have access to this part of your page settings, but you can always add the CSS to you know your customizer, however you add custom CSS. 
you can just drop it in there and it will work just as well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you exactly what we're doing with the CSS code. This right here are the three classes that Elementor automatically gives to a pop-up when you're using the aspect ratio 916. So I figured out that Elementor's calling these three classes and then what we need to do is declare the height and the width so it always kind of fits inside the browser. And then this code right here is gonna switch it to be a little bit uh, smaller just on mobile. So you could just copy and paste this in here and it should work fine. Um, the reason why you have to do this, like I said, is because Elementor by default is stretching this to a lot higher because most people aren't playing a nine by 16 in a light box. So that's why you kind of have to add this custom code right here. So let me go ahead and mobile and just kind of show you how everything's looking. Let me shrink this video. So if I go ahead and this is a tablet mode right here, you can see when I shrink down, it will never hit the sides right here because you want to always make sure when you do these kind of pop-ups that it's going to work for all the different devices. So right here, we're at a width of 767 and I have it scaling all the way down to like 320. So unless someone's on a very small phone, it might get cut off a little bit, but this is in most cases fine because most people don't have a phone this small anymore. So this looks good right here. And like I said, you're going to just want to keep those dimensions the same because I did a lot of testing with these dimensions and these work great. I've tested this on desktop, tablets, different mobile devices. So as far as I know, this is going to work perfectly for you. So now I'm going to go ahead, hit update, and let's just do a test on the front end of the website, make sure everything looks good. Let me refresh this and you'll notice it's just that one. And let me make sure the console's okay. So you can see right here when you pop open, this is all working correctly. And if I play it, it's playing correctly. And you'll notice these are the suggested videos. So it's always going to stay within our channel. And if I start to shrink down the web page, you're going to notice it will start to shrink down. This is on mobile right now. So yeah, this works out perfectly. So that's all you have to do. What I do recommend is make sure you get one of these video widgets down perfectly. If you need to add a bunch, like on this page, let's say you need to add, you know, another 10 of them, make sure you get one of them perfectly and then just kind of, you know, duplicate it like this and just click and drag and click and drag it over. That's going to make your life a lot easier rather than trying to, you know, change the settings for each one of these. Now, if you want to have a little bit of a hover effect, so when you hover over this, it will grow a little bit. So I showed that in the first example. I'm going to show you how easy it is. You do have to add just a little bit of CSS code to pull that off. In order to do that, what you need to do is just go back into your video widget and give this uh, video widget a unique CSS class. I'm just going to call it grow and I'm using Elementor Pro again. So I'm just going to paste it in here and that's it. So this is basically just saying if you have the class of grow, the transition is at a 0.2 with an ease in and out. So that means it's going to take 0.2 seconds to do the animation. And then right here, we're going to do CSS grow on hover. We're going to transform and scale it 1.05%. So it's going to be a very subtle type of grow right here. So you can see right here, it's not really growing that much. And then if you want to even add a little more flair to it, you could always go underneath border underneath box shadow. You can just kind of give it a little bit of a box shadow look if you want to have it where it kind of floats. This is kind of like the example I had. Maybe the spread won't be so much. So, you know, you could always just play around with these. So let me go ahead hit refresh and show you that it looks like it's kind of floating there. And now when you do that, it just kind of scales up. I recommend just doing a little bit of a CSS grow like this. You don't want to go too crazy. Just kind of make it look good. You click it and it will automatically play once you click the button right here. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.